You're watching KCAL 9 News at 2. Well, we know health care is a really hot topic, and for a lot of people, there's some confusion about obesity and how much it really costs the U.S. economy. Yeah, according to a new report, that cost is over $200 billion. Here to tell us more about this, Dr. Kent Holtorf. He's a specialist with hypothyroidism, fatigue, endocrinology, weight loss. Whew, I got through all of that. <laughs> Welcome, doctor. Thanks for being Hello, here. Thanks for having me. Why are we so fat? What's going on here? Well, I think, you know, everyone blames that we're, as Americans, we eat too much and we don't exercise enough. It's all about supersizing or even right. character disorders. We're lazy. But studies are showing that's not the whole story. Hmm. That there's new research showing that there's oftentimes, maybe the overwhelming majority of time, metabolic abnormalities that are causing a person to make it very difficult to lose weight uh, or, or hard to uh, in, in able to uh, lose weight. So these include leptin resistance or low thyroid that's not detected by standard blood tests. So when you look at these uh, abnormalities and fix these, now people who couldn't lose weight before are now able to. Wow. Well, so we talk about the expense. We know that it costs more in health care, but also people don't go to work. They're sick. Productivity falls. It really can affect the whole economy when we're talking about obesity. It really can. I mean, the study that said $215 billion, they added in fuel costs and uh, in a worsening of what, uh, global what does that warming. Mean, fuel costs? Like higher, someone weighs more, so it's going to take more gas on an airplane. Oh. So I think that's a stretch. I mean, that's you can have a child in that same thing. Right. But there really is increased health care costs of, you know, of diabetes and heart disease and all those things. But again, the nice thing is, is looking deeper, we can find the cause of those over a majority of time and it's not just the diet and exercise that's really it's really failing because when we focus on that you know people go and they diet and exercise then it doesn't work and they gain the weight back they just give up and because they're finding interesting study is that they found that people who have yo-yo dieting or significant dieting in the past they have 25 percent lower metabolism so same body size same age same body fat 25% lower calories they burn per day. So 500 calories, they have to burn more or eat less just to maintain their weight. So you wonder why we just keep gaining weight. So it's, that, it's also that uh, diet and exercise that's a problem. So do you recommend people with a chronic weight problem to go to a doctor and talk about maybe digging deeper like you were talking about, more tests? That really is the key. And, you know, doctors are, you know, they keep saying, oh, just more diet and exercise, just, you know, you got to just suck it up. But they're not looking deep enough and looking at leptin level. So if you have a leptin level above 12, you have leptin resistance. So what is leptin real quick? Leptin goes up when you gain weight, tells the brain to stop storing energy. When this was discovered about 25 years ago, they gave leptin to rats, they all lost weight. But they gave it to humans, it doesn't work. So we're finding a majority of humans that have a hard time losing weight have a leptin resistance. So the brain thinks the body's starving all the time. So it uh, uh, lowers metabolism, increases appetite. Anytime you eat, tries to store that fat. So fixing that leptin resistance, what we can do now, we can do it, uh, can all, oftentimes result in a significant weight loss. So we go to our doctor, we ask to have our thyroid checked? Is that and what? And well, as for leptin level and also reverse T3 level, we're finding too is that with this chronic yo-yo dieting, the body tries to lower metabolism by increasing a substance called reverse T3 which blocks the thyroid, so lowers metabolism. And even going back to normal eating, the levels don't uh, return to normal. So again, you have this hypometabolism, very difficult to lose weight until you fix those problems. So you need to find a doctor that's going to look at those, especially those two issues. Some of, this, some of the problem that America has uh, is, though, related to just overeating. What, what are some of the unhealthy habits we have? It, it really is. I mean, that's, it's all, it's all you know, big picture. That's part of it. But again, um, in, in, but fixing, you need to fix those other abnormalities to really have uh, opportunity for success. But we're finding, you know, I think a lot of the processed foods are a problem. High fructose corn syrup is an issue. Um, if a big lobby, I'll probably get some calls after that. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, and I think really food choices are, are important. And exercise. Stuff Studies are finding that too much exercise is not better. Lowers metabolism, especially in women. If your body senses too much stress, this um, uh, over-exercising, metabolism drops. So now you're fighting yourself. So um, again, more is not better. And you think this is going to continue unless we get control of this problem. There are going to be more and more obese people as time goes on. That's already happening. I think it's really true, again, because we just keep going, you know, the new diet, the new fad diet, right. and more exercise. It's not working. Why is that? We need to look deeper. And the new studies are showing that there is something else going on and that it can be fixed. A lot of great new research going on as well, but there are things you can do today. And what are some of the basics that we can do? And again, go to the doctor, get that leptin level checked, that reverse T3 level checked, and other, other things as well. Sleep. Sleep is very important. If you don't sleep, 
very difficult to lose weight. The body tries to store fat. Stress is a big producer of, of weight. You know, lower stress, much easier said than done. Uh, but uh, all those things, you're almost better off with sleep, sleeping in than waking up early and exercising. Uh, I like studies that are showing theory. Us. So, um, <laughs> and all those, you know, the dogmas that we've been thinking, just, you know, eat less, more exercise, it's not working. And there's a reason for that when you look at the physiology of it. All right. So you say talk to your doctor, find out what's going on. That's it. All right. Wow. Thank you. Great. Doctor. Thank you. For more information on Dr. Holtorf, you can go to our website. It's kcal9.com. Just click Seen on TV. Thanks for being with us. Great. Thanks so much. Very interesting. Appreciate it. Thank you.